So let's talk about how to install Origin on Linux. Installing Origin is way more difficult than it should be, and the approach that I used before doesn't even work anymore. So instead, we'll have to take a hybrid approach using the method that I used before, coupled with the method that they talk about on WineHQ. So what you'll need for this is a browser, a terminal, possibly some sort of scratch pad, I use Sublime, and of course Wine, or Crossover, or Play on Linux, or something. Being able, to, being able to configure wine prefixes is relatively important, though it's not totally required. So for this video, I'm going to use Crossover. Pretty much all the steps here you could follow using Play on Linux too. You can get practically the same thing out of Play on Linux, though I prefer Crossover better. So first off, you'll actually want to install Origin, knowing full well that it's going to fail. So with Crossover, I just search for Origin. And it's the first result, and of course it says it's not supported by code weavers. It even says that it's known not to work. Unfortunately, we know that. But the important thing is that it will create a wine bottle, which is a wine prefix for us, and it'll bring down all the dependencies. You can do the same thing if you're using vanilla wine, using wine tricks, but things like Play on Linux and Crossover just make it easier for you. So let's go ahead and install this thing. There's nothing special with the install process, just say yes to pretty much everything. Now this is the part where we're actually going to install or set up Origin. It's going to fail after this, but the important thing is that it's going to create a directory along with a temporary folder, which we may need in the future. Of course, it's going to ask you to reboot your computer. Uh, didn't even give me a chance to say yes, I guess. It's just a simulation, doesn't actually do anything. So it's going to update, and at the end of this, it's going to fail. Why it fails, I don't know. It sounds like somebody understands why it's failing. And it's kind of unfortunate because it sounds like it's a problem with wine and not with Origin. So you're going to see this error message, something went terribly wrong installing Origin. Hit OK. This will pop up. Go ahead and hit OK. So it says installation is complete. Of course, that won't work. Let's go to the web browser, go to WineHQ, look up Origin latest release, scroll down to the section where it says Origin thin setup fails to install or update. What we need here is this URL. We're going to use this to download an update for Origin. Now, once you have it downloaded, go ahead and open it up, and then we'll want to browse to where we have Origin installed. If you're using Crossover, you're going to find it at CX Office, Origin, Drive C, Program Files, Origin. There should only be three files in there, that's fine. We're going to copy everything from the archive, dump it right into this folder. We'll want to replace everything as we go. Now what we'll want to do is go back to Crossover and we'll want to launch Origin. It's going to pop up, it's going to want to update yet again, and then it should fail. There you go. That took about 30 seconds to fail. So we hit OK, and then about 30 seconds later again, boom, you have the Origin login. Whoa, that was weird. Uh, Wow, don't try to move the window. Whoa! Wow, that was weird. It completely disappeared there for a minute. So it's probably not a good idea to try to create an EA account here. You'll want to do that before trying to log in. But if you have an EA account, just go ahead and try to log in. There you have it. Of course, we get a program error, or we get a couple. Is that more than one? It's probably just, oh, it is more than one. That's unusual. I have I've only seen one. We got feature today, of course, don't try to move any of these windows because it's all jacked up. You might actually have better luck with the window management if you're running it in a virtual desktop, but I'm not doing that. So this was the hard part. Now the final step to getting Origin to work properly is to make a change to one of the files to allow it to fully and completely download a game. So let's go ahead and go to the terminal, and in the web browser we'll want to scroll down to the part where it says can't download games in Origin. So let's copy the second line. Unless you're somewhere weird on your file system, you probably don't need the first line. And let's go ahead and blindly and completely irresponsibly paste and execute the first command. Now grab the third line and do the same thing. Grab the fourth line. Oh, just kidding, you can't actually do that. So you need to actually navigate to where exactly Origin is installed. So in this case, I'm going to be super duper lazy and just open a terminal here. And then we'll grab the last line and we will execute it. And if you see patch applied successfully, you are done. Not only can you open Origin, you can download games and you can play games.